Howdy, I'm Wendell, this is level one. Sometimes you get random hardware that is not labeled and you don't know what it is. What does it do? I mean, this looks like an AMD Fire Pro S7150, but there's this weird display port connector on the end that some crazy person has soldered there. Along with some surface mount components because you can turn this card into a Fire Pro or some other things, but when you plug it in, you don't necessarily know what it is. Or when you have it before you plug it in, you don't necessarily know what it is. How do you figure it out? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to show you. This might be a better example. This is an Asus. It's labeled Asus. And I can see it's got a yellow and a white DVI connector. And uh, we'll just assume that there are no stickers or anything else like that on this card. It's just a big old fanless card, which turns out was a mistake. Like that was a design flaw. But that's another video for another day. So yeah, this thing, it's a fanless video card. That's pretty cool. Is it garbage? Or, you know, once upon a time, presumably, it was, it was not garbage. But you know, there's even a fan header. They were not super confident in, in this design actually being fanless. There's a fan header. Sometimes it's actually easier to plug in a device like this. Not necessarily a video card. It could be a networking card. It could be an unidentified whatever. If it, you know, looks like a PCI card, you can probably stick it in your computer. Although, maybe stick it in a secondary computer or something like that if you're not really sure. It's going to show up. And it's going to show up in Device Manager. And it might seem like it's not helpful at all. But, uh with the yellow question mark in Device Manager, but it actually is useful in Device Manager. So all you gotta do is right click on the device and go to Properties, and then Details, drop down menu, and do Hardware IDs. Okay, PCI, so I've done that on the Radeon RX Vega. I mean, the computer knows what it is. If it's detected and you get the driver, then you know what it is. But a lot of the time, most of the time, you're gonna get a yellow question mark in Windows. So the vendor and device ID, the first line here, the vendor is the company and the device ID is the specific device. There's a website for this. 1002-687-F. 1002-687-F. PCILookup.com. Plug in those vendor and device IDs. We see vendor ID 1002, that's advanced micro devices. Anytime you see 1002 in a device, it's gonna be advanced micro devices. 8086, that's Intel, which is kind of a funny joke, but I'm trying to stay on topic here. And then the description, Vega 10 XT, Radeon RX Vega 64, device ID 687F. That's the device, that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do. PCILookup.com, plug in the vendor and device IDs. Sometimes you might run across a device where the vendor and device ID is not in the PCILookup.com. That's not a good sign. But the other devices that are listed here are compatible devices or devices that have like a subsystem. So this device actually has several different sub devices that are accessible, but most devices are really only gonna have the one vendor and device ID listed. Sometimes you get lucky and there'll be another vendor and device ID listed and that might be a compatible device. Most of the time it's multifunction devices. So think about like your RTX 2080 Ti. You got a USB-C connection, a DisplayPort, and HDMI to the system that shows up as a graphics card, an audio device for your HDMI audio, the audio that's bundled on the card, a USB device, because it's USB-C, and also a low-speed serial device, which is used for programming and something else. So you actually get four devices on the RTX series cards. Most graphics cards will show up at least as a graphics card plus something with HDMI audio. So there might be multiple vendor and device IDs on the device. And usually you can see that as like a subsystem, like subsys, something like that in your vendor and device ID. Now in Linux, I'm assuming that you already knew this trick. You still use PCILookup.com, but it's just LSPCI dash VN or just N or VVN. So just LSPCI dash NN is probably the most sane way to do it. You could do LSPCI-VVN or VVVN for increasingly verbose versions of LSPCI. LSPCI actually does give you a lot of information. We've got devices, you know, functions 0 0.0 and function 0.1. That's our Ethernet controller, Broadcom. It's Broadcom NextStream 2 BCM 5790 gigabit Ethernet. So 14E4-1639. That's what I could plug into the system. But generally, Linux is going to know what these devices are. It's going to have at least some idea of what they are. We've got, you know, 
VGA compatible controller, Matrox electronic systems, MGA 200EW, WPCM 450. Who would have thought that the graphics card that was in my Pentium 233 would still be around today for the, you know, Xeon 5600 series? That's, that's crazy. That's bananas. I also use LSPCI VVVV a lot because, uh, it'll also show you things that are really useful, like what kernel driver is in use. So that's a, you know, that's literally a PCIe port. Here's our matrix driver, and we can say that the kernel driver in use, the MGA200. And if you have a kernel module that a device supports more than one of, so like for example, NVIDIA and Nouveau, you can see which devices like kernel modules are available and which ones it supports. This is also useful for like VFIO. Like I told VFIO to use this graphics card, but I can't tell if the driver's loading or not. LSPCI VVN pipe less, and you can search the output of that with slash and find whatever and make sure that the appropriate driver is using it. But PCILookup.com. Hopefully, you know, quick, dirty, to the point. Hopefully, I'm Wendell, this is level one. I'm signing out. I'll see you in the forums because you're going to come to the forums and make a post if you get lost, probably. It's fine. That's actually what inspired this video because somebody posted and was like, hey, what is this? And I thought, I can do this video in like 30 seconds. It was far, far longer than 30 seconds.